From the time I was a kid, I dreamed of mesmerizing juries, freeing the innocent, and becoming the most remarkable lawyer the Supreme Court had ever seen. So I worked my butt off to get the grades I needed to go to law school. Then I studied night and day for three long years to graduate and pass the bar exam. Finally, with my life as a lawyer about to begin, my dad asked me to help out for a while in a Cincinnati real estate firm. Now, I had sold real estate on summer breaks from school and grown up listening and learning the business from dad every night at dinner. So thinking this would be like a temporary gig, a brief respite before practicing law, I went ahead and went into the real estate business and helped dad out. As the months and then the years passed by, every time I thought about starting a law practice, my friends and my fellow realtors and my real estate clients, they all kept saying, Greg, you know, you're pretty good at this real estate thing. Are you sure you want to become a sharp-edged, fast-talking trial lawyer? Now, I admit, I really did love real estate. I felt like I was helping people in a positive way with something that made a big difference in their lives. So year after year, I continued to stay in the business, always thinking that, well, maybe one day I'd practice law. That was over 35 years ago. As you can see, real estate to me is more than just a way to make a living. Very few have had the opportunity to practice law in a law school education, went out and chose real estate sales and said, but I did. I did because I now believe it was my destiny, my heritage. It was what I was born, what I was born to do. Now, why do I tell you this story? I tell you this story because it's true, and you, too, should have a carefully thought through, truthful backstory like mine, a story that enhances your credibility, the credibility of why you do what you do. I mean, think about it. When others understand where you come from and why you are who you are and why you're doing what you're doing, they have a better understanding of who you as a person really are. Never forget that people want to do business with people they understand, and they sometimes shy away from people they don't. Now, in real estate, we obtain listings, the lifeblood of our business, in big part by selling ourselves. That's why it's so important to have a genuine, interesting, credibility-enhancing backstory. It's such a great way to start off a listing appointment. Now, what I want to talk to you about is there are several styles of these backstories. The one you just heard from me is called the reluctant hero story. It's about how my friends encouraged me to stay in real estate, something in the beginning that I was reluctant to do because I was planning on practicing law. Some other types of story themes are like the loss and redemption. That's how you fell on your face but came back strong. Then there's the discovery story, how your profession, what you're doing now, that was like a sudden epiphany one day. Uh, there's what's known as the underdog story. That's where, against all odds, you fought back and you were the David who beat the Goliath. Uh, there's a story theme called curation, and that's where you describe how your better way of doing whatever you do, how that evolved over years of experimentation and laborious study. Now, obviously, your story needs to be true. My story was. Think about this. Before your next listing appointment, think about your story. Think about crafting it into one of these powerful story themes, one of these credibility-enhancing, get-to-know-me-why-I-do-what-I-do stories. You know, if you don't do that, think about this. Sellers may naturally presume that your big why, instead of being the powerful why it really is, is simply about them paying you a commission. And I know your why is bigger than that. This is Greg Haig. Would you like to learn some creative, non-traditional real estate strategies that make sellers call in droves and want to list with you and only you? Come on over and visit us at realestatemavericks.com and the990company.com where we're writing the creative playbook on how you can win in real estate.